Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Darshan Gunawardhan from WSO2. Today, I'm going to talk about how custom IAM can help you to boost your digital transformation in your business. If we take a step back and see, uh, over the last few years, new generation of digital businesses has been emerged, evolving new set of products and services. The interaction between customers as well as other stakeholders has been reshaped. All this shows the global shift towards the digital business. Digital transformation is not just about the technology. It's about how you could benefit from the technological advancements to innovate in your own business domain. It has to be driven by the vision, not by the technology itself. Committed key leadership is the key to its success. Having committed top-down leadership can easily provide strong governance and coordination within different teams and also can steer the direction and momentum. There are three main business drivers for digital transformation initiatives. The first one is creating evolving business models by creating new digital products and services. And the next one is providing smooth customer experience. The third one is optimizing operations in the organization. If you look at the IAM perspective of these business drivers, creating new digital products and services brings the necessity of supporting new functionalities, such as user self-boarding, social login, user self-care portal, etc. And also with the new digital products, it has to be comply with several regulations and standards, depending on the region or the business domain you are in. For an example, GDPR, CCPA, and HIPAA. Providing smooth customer experience also a key aspect in CIA, where now we should provide personalized, simplified, and unified experience across different all your products and across different channels that customer access. If the product or the service undesirably restrictive, it can detract from the customer experience. On the other hand, it cannot compromise the, your security. So we want to think about the right balance between security versus convenience. Adaptive authentication can be used to tackle this in the authentication scenarios, while bring your own identity and progressive profiling can be used to tackle the same in use on body. Optimizing operation also a key aspect in CIM, and it can, with the proper CIM solution, it can get, gain the more behavioral data, such as like what are the mostly what are the systems that consumers mostly access, what are the what are the geolocations that customer access, and what are the services that they access together, etc. All these can be used to derive more business insights, which also can be used to optimize the operations. Ability to quickly adapt these changes also a vital aspect. Business has been now going with the frequent acquisitions and merging with different business entities and association with partners, likewise. So ability to quickly adapt these changes also are vital. Customer IAM has been becoming popular domain in the IAM industry. And there is a common misconception that workforce IAM also can play the 
fulfill the same requirements that customer aim that occurs, which is not the case. Workforce IAM looks business inwards, focusing on the business to employee and business to business interactions with the objective of reducing risk and cost associated with the onboarding and offboarding of employees, partners, and suppliers. Whereas CIM focus on driving revenue growth by leveraging identity data to acquire and retain customers. Consumers now view digital identity as the primary mechanism to interact with the brands. Consequently, it's expect deeper online relationship that delivers simply. If you look at CIM business objectives, improving customer engagement and improved customer loyalty, higher conversion rates, better security, privacy and compliance, as well as the improved business agility and operational efficiency and unified experience over the different channels. CIAM key features includes use on boarding, progressive profiling, as well as single sign-on, adaptive authentication, fraud detections, user profile management, consent and privacy management, and on-channel support. Apart from these functional aspects, there are non-functional aspects like performance, resiliency, and scalability. If you look at CIM at high level, this diagram shows very abstract level. Here you can see customer sign interacts with the uh, retail application might be the core product or service that in corporation provide, which connected to the identity and access management system, which bridge the connectivity to the directory servers or the cloud identity providers, as well as it's uh, taking care of syncing identity information to the other tools like CRM applications. If we take all components, CIM reference architecture looks like following. As you can see, all the portals are directly connected to the IAM component, which connected to the external identity providers, risk engines, and other supplementary services. And also, all business APIs also secure through the same identity component, which also generates the identity analytics. CIM solution has to be integrated well within the core product and services that organization offers. And identity APIs act as a key interaction point, integration point for the systems. Identity APIs can be utilized to automate and govern identity events among systems, retrieve identity analytics from the CIM solution, and feed other information to act prevent proactively on identity events. Identity APIs improves identity integrations, which improves the seamless experience to the customers, which gains the customer satisfaction and making the business success. A couple of weeks back, Kupinjakol has released their latest analysis on identity and API platforms, and WSO2 has been named as a leader in each category. You can download the full report from the link listed below, and get more comprehensive details of the industry trends, as well as the evaluation of other vendors. Forrester has came up with the identity maturity model to evaluate the gaps in the IAM environment and incorporate those findings into the 
UI security strategy. The lowest level does not have any identity management system in place and also does not realize the need of it. There will be no personalized user experience in this organization. Organizations in the next level have handled their identities disorganized manner where customer identities will be handling ad hoc in different products. Organizations in level two have the common way of managing identity among different systems of services they have, but does not have any centralized or standardized mechanism. In the level three, organizations in the level three will have the defined standardized basic CIM platform in their organization. In the level four, they not only have the automated and fully fledged CIM solution, but also have the capabilities to derive identity analytics and making more uh, business insights of it. Organization in the highest level go even beyond that and will be able to take the inputs of the external systems such as risk engines and act proactively Proactivity, proactively to improve security and improve efficiency of the organization. If you are to summarize the points, so business drivers of the digital transformation introduce the necessity of complying new set of IAM requirements. Having strong CIM solution helps to adapt these requirement effectively and efficiently. Traditional workforce IAM solutions cannot be used to solve full spectrum of the CIM requirements. Identity APIs in the CIM solution can be used to improve the coherence of the CIM use cases in the business. And finally, IAM maturity models helps to evaluate where you are now and improve your CIM strategy in iterative manner. Thanks for your time. Have a pleasant evening.